Okay, here's a quick tutorial on how to insert dot leaders for your tabs. First, I'm going to go to the um, Home tab, Paragraph Group, and I'm going to hit that little arrow in the corner. It's going to give me the Paragraph dialog box. Now, um, this is indents and spacing, and that's not really what I need. So I go down to the bottom here to the Tabs button, hit Tabs, and then um, the Tab Stop position. So this is which tab stop am I trying to put the dots before? So it's my six inch tab stop. I want dots before this tab stop. So I'm going to highlight six inches. And I'm not going to change my alignment because it's the way I want to, but here's the leader section. So right now it's set for no leaders. Um, here's dot leaders, here's a dash leader, and here's an underline leader. You can use the dash and the dot quite similarly. This you could use like if you're creating a test and you wanted to make a blank for somebody to write in, for example. So I'm going to click that and I'm going to say OK. And see how that puts a dot leader in there? Now I want to do it to the whole thing at once, so I'm going to highlight like that and do the whole thing again. Hit my paragraph dialog box arrow there. Hit tabs down here on the bottom. Now um, I have lost my Hang on. Okay, I pulled up my box again. I re-highlighted. So now I have six inch, uh, my six inch tab stop position there. I'm going to click dot leaders and say OK. And now I have dot leaders everywhere that I needed. The one other thing you have to do to this assessment is to go and set up some, um, you have to format the paragraph however you choose. So there you go.